Nami is about 8 kilometers north of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant where in March 2011 enormous amounts of radioactivity were released into the atmosphere. We are doing here a lot of measurements along roads, looking for hot spots as well, taking some samples. If you just walk you have quite some higher results, 30%, 50% higher. The whole idea is to have a rather detailed overview, mapping of the radioactivity, which is a very important element to assess the risk for people who would return to this area. So this is not just a spot, it's really the whole forest that gives the high reading. Yeah, we measure here uh, up to 3 microsieverts per hour, um, and that's more than 10 times uh, the level that is uh, the limit that is set internationally uh, for people to live and that's really high so close to uh, the city of Nami. The Japanese government has lifted the evacuation order in this so-called area 2 here in Nami. Okay. That means that people can return but also that the policy of the Japanese government is to lift not only the evacuation order but also to stop the compensation payments to the population which over the next year will effectively force some of those people to return back for financial reasons. This compensation is now used by this, these evacuees to pay for their alternative housing. So if they lose that, some of them will have to come back for financial reasons and that's a really dangerous, unacceptable policy. It's a human rights issue to force people back into an area, uh, evacuated area, contaminated area, and to force them back in such an area. We're in Nami and we now just entered the uh, closed area which is still very highly contaminated. We've not been here as Greenpeace since uh, March 2011 when there were no controls at that moment. And the radiation values here are quite high. Even where p uh, pieces have been decontaminated, we have uh, values uh, 20, 10, 20, 30 times the original background level. But on some parts where radioactivity has been collected, we even find radiation levels a thousand times what uh, the background was before. More than 100, even more than 200 microsievert per hour. This is much more than thousand times the background that has been before the nuclear accident in 2011. This is still seven years after the accident, a highly contaminated area and uh, the government has opened the road. Uh, it's really a big mistake, I would say. All the years I have worked in contaminated areas in Chernobyl, for example, I haven't seen values with more than 100 uh, microsieverts per hour in an environment that is just accessible. That's, that's the problem that she did not know. And I think this is the problem of opening the street. He was more than 100 on the ground. 100 microsieverts per hour. If people would be forced to move back, it would be a risk to their health. But not only a risk to the health because of the risk of radiation, they would also be seriously constrained in their freedom to move. Because now by 2023, the government wants to push back these people to Tsushima. Whereas we can clearly conclude from our research 
that these radiation levels we measure today around the houses and around the forest, this whole area, are totally unfit, totally unacceptable for people to return to. Imagine children coming back to this area. You would have to explain to small children that they cannot play in the garden or that they can only play in a few meters from the house, that they cannot put their hands on the soil, that they cannot play, which is for a, ch a child a human right issue. Children have to have the right to play. This is not possible here. You would constrain people in a kind of harness to a level which is not human anymore. Only 20% of the area has been decontaminated, meaning that people who work here, they work in nature, they depend on nature, working in, on the agricultural land, in the forest. And so these forests have not been decontaminated. And practically speaking, that's totally impossible to decontaminate those forests. So people actually are now being pushed back by the government, also financially by removing their uh, compensation payments compensation payments they dearly need because they need another housing. They need to pay for that. The, these extra costs, if you remove those compensations, you actually force people financially to return to this area. And this is totally unacceptable. <laughs> あの、自然的な放射能もこれだけあるとか、タバコ吸うとこれだけ被爆するとか言ってきますけども、あの、今回福井地で起きた事故に対してかなりあのいい立場、柔道の汚染されてるんですよ。ただ放射能は目に見え